So in the last demo we have seen how we loaded this car frame uh, from a CAD file and converted to profiles and um, I will now show how you can parameterize these models to be adapted to the correct size and dimensions. Let's quickly repeat how parameterizing works in DigiPara Lift Designer. So you have a profile and um, each profile has uh, dimensions and XYZ dimensions and has a, a location, a position inside the coordinate system of this car platform and um, to make these parameters dynamic you can refer to 3D parameters like platform width and platform depth and so on. And what I want to show you now is um, this is the size of the original uh, model and um, if we want to make this dynamic relative to the platform depth we can add the platform depth parameter plus P1 but this is now much too big so uh, since uh, initially it was 2090 we have to subtract 2000 to, uh, 165 and then we get a rule like this so now this is the correct size uh, now let's change the car depth uh, assume we change the car depth from 2100 to 3000 you see what happens that um, this one profile is automatically extended the other are still static because there is no rule how to make them uh, small and big. So let's go back to the 2100 and I want to go to the profile on the other side and um, instead of subtracting these constant manually there is a new uh, rule in DigiParalyph Designer you can add plus and this bracket here and then plus um, parameter 1 because this, if you use this syntax, this will automatically uh, do exactly what we did manually before. And so this is now, uh, you see that the system automatically calculates the platform depth minus 175. We can use the same syntax for parameterizing the width. Um, um, the, the position the X position. So this depends on the platform width. So we can say uh, minus um, because it's a negative value you, you should use a negative value uh, minus uh, 0 0.5 multiply the platform width which is parameter 0 so we can just type in P0 and this automatically uh, calculates the constant and makes this uh, assigns this properly the same as on the other side where we say plus 0 0.5 multiply parameter 0 imagine we change the car width now let's say we change the car width from 1100 to 1400 you see that these two profiles I move to the outside, the other uh, intermediate profiles remain on the fixed um, position and let's change also the car depth, then we see if we change this to 3000 then we see that we have now these two profiles uh, parameterized properly. So let's go back to this original size. It's important when you change the, uh, apply these rules that you have the original model in lift design are the original model dimensions otherwise the calculations will not work properly so we can do the same for the other profiles uh, so we can choose uh, not just one we can choose all of them and um, for the length coordinate oh sorry For the length coordinate, the x coordinate, we can say, okay, this is plus um, the platform width plus parameter zero, 
and this will automatically do do the the job and if we change the car width now we can quickly see how that how that behaves here um, properly so we already parameterized this i want to parameterize one more or two more profiles this profile here is uh, 0.3 from the center of this uh, profile it's 0 0.3 uh, the position is 0 0.3 uh, multiply car platform depth so uh, the location is plus 0 0.3 parameter uh, platform there parameter one and the same for this profile here it's minus 0 0.3 parameter one and if we change now the car depth and then you see that the whole model is more or less properly uh, parametrized and we can now go back to the work area have a look at the platform let's choose the platform here enable the isolation and flooring and you see if we change now the the car width to 1600 that the model behaves properly and if we change the car depth to 1800 also this model behaves correct